Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to beautiful Mallorca. So we just arrived and checked in our hotel, which is Concepcion by Novis. It's located in the city center of Palma and let me tell you, I'm so happy with our choice. It's such a nice and lovely hotel, beautiful design and perfect location, obviously. So we'll spend two nights here and then we will move uh, towards the south part of the, southeast part of the island. I would say we start with a little room tour, shall we? And after that we'll probably head into the old town and check out some little shops and cafes. For dinner we made a reservation directly in the hotel because it has a very nice restaurant which is called Xales, Chales, I don't know how to pronounce that to be honest, but it looks very nice. So I'm looking forward to some delicious tacos, I've heard that they are very good here. And yeah, that's it for today, I'll take you with me as much as I can and show you around and yeah, I hope you enjoy this little travel vlog. So we just started day two of our vacation and we just had the most delicious breakfast at the hotel and now we head into the city center we'll do a little sightseeing and after that we'll probably chill by the pool for the rest of the day and tomorrow we will then move to the next hotel got here a pair of summer shoes because I actually don't own that many sandals so I got myself this pair here in a brown monogram and black combo you've probably seen them before they're quite popular um, this was a very spontaneous purchase but I really needed some more summer shoes and they're quite comfortable at least from trying on in the store need to wear them for a longer time but yeah I really like them I think they're quite nice very versatile can combine them with basically every outfit let me know what you think guys do we like them as said it was a quite impulsive purchase I mean I did think about those shoes before I had them kind of on my wish list and I already thought about buying them last year but I never pulled the trigger for some reason and yeah now when I saw them in the store in Mallorca I thought it's the right time to get these shoes in summer because I only own one pair of Chloe sandals and that's about it actually. So yeah, added these to my collection and I can't wait to wear them. And then I also got some jewelry from this nice little store which was called Hey Love. First I got those super cute little dainty ear studs. Then I got these ones here. I really love the shape of them, let me show you. When you wear them from the front, they look like this. And I really liked this 
structural, architectural design. I think they're super cute. They're all gold plated. Then I also got these ones here, some little rectangular hoops with some riffle details here, which I really like. And last but not least, I got myself this little gold necklace here with those little beads in between. Very understated, but very cute. Yeah, and these are the findings of the day. of the night. I'm very excited to get to address uh, the Isabelle Moran La Chapelle and my Gucci slippers. And the bag of the night is my Francis Kula Hava bag. So we're going to head down to the city center again and try to find a nice spot to have dinner. Let's go! <music> Another sign that the hotel is a good one is that they have a bottle of Miraval in the mini bar, one of my favorites. Cheers! We just arrived at Portemar Apartments, so we are now located in the southeast of the island. And we just check in and we have a lovely room with a view on the beautiful bay. So the plan for the rest of the day is to go to the pool and to the bay and to just chill and hopefully finally get a tan. I mean, I'm in desperate need of some tan. I'm so pale. I really need to get some sun. So that's what we'll do now. But first I'll give you a little room tour. The 
lunchtime and we're sitting at the restaurant of the Mother's Sea Club. I ordered a quinoa salad with pineapple and beetroot. And my boyfriend got some stuffed squid, stuffed with vegetables and uh, served with a saffron sauce. And the view is absolutely amazing. I have to check it out. It's so beautiful. We're ending the day at the beautiful Estrecht beach. Uh, in the background, it's a beautiful sunset. Uh, we're currently enjoying ourselves with some wine. Give to me, baby. You keep making me run. Yeah. I can't. I can't. to get some breakfast now and um, then plan is to go on a sailing boat in the afternoon um, before that we will probably just drive around with our car and check out some beautiful bays on the way to our port where we'll start with the sailing boat yesterday we had such a lovely evening at the Estreng beach it was purely magical the sunset was so beautiful I really enjoyed it and I had such a nice birthday We are back home. We took the scenic route to the airport and stopped by Kala P for some beautiful views and drone shots as you've seen in the video. And here I still have my beautiful bunch of birthday flowers I was surprised with when I got home. They're so pretty. Just noticed that they'll probably need some fresh water. <laughs> Hold on a minute. 
That's way better, isn't it? We also stopped by the Puro Beach Club, which is located very close to the airport and tried to get the table for lunch, but unfortunately it was fully booked. I still managed to get a glimpse into the pool area and from what I saw, I think it's safe to say that the Mare Sea Club is way nicer than Puro, as it's much bigger and less crowded and it's more of a relaxed and chill vibe and you definitely have much better views in Mare Sea Club than in Puro because as said, uh, Maris is located a little bit in the southeast part of the island where you have the most beautiful base and Puro is close to the airport in Palma so you just have views on the sea with big hotels and not really the nice bays and cliffs so we were not too sad to not get into that club. Generally if you want to go to one of the fancier restaurants or get a sunbed or a table in the beach club you have to make a reservation well in advance. I contacted about five different beach clubs but Maris was actually the only one we could get in. I mean we were kind of spontaneous. I mean the entire vacation was booked very last minute because we had to make unexpected changes in our summer travel plans but nevertheless I tried to reserve them like five days before and I had no chance. I even tried with the help of the hotel staff at Nobis because they had some contacts to different beach clubs but even with their help we were unsuccessful because everything was fully booked. Maris was actually on top of my beach club list uh, along with the Grand Folie Club where we could not get into because it was fully booked but um, the hotel staff at Novis also told me that Maris is the nicest beach club because it's the most calm one, it's not too crowded and it's a very nice location so I was super happy that we could get into this one at least and it was very nice so I did not regret it I'm super happy that we've seen it and we could spend my birthday there actually and also considering what you get for the price it's definitely the best choice because one sunbed is 50 euros per person I mean it's a lot for a sunbed but if you compare this price to the price of the other beach clubs it's still relatively low and you also don't have any minimum consumption there. UM Beach House seems to be very nice too, but this one is for example super expensive compared to the Maris Beach Club because you pay 180 euros per sunbed. I think it's not per person, so if there's two or three people I think that's for the entire sunbed, so for all of them together. But you have to spend at least 450 euros for food and drinks etc. So if you're just two people I think that's quite a lot. As said before our second favorite would have been Grand Folie which was unfortunately fully booked but from what I've seen on the pictures the location also looks really nice. And then there's also Nikki Beach which is more for partying so we're not that much interested in that. And then there's also Puro Beach which I mentioned before um, that actually did not look as nice as I expected it to be the one in Palma at least. There's also another Puro Beach Club in Ietas, which I didn't see, so I can't comment on that. Anyways, there are so many nice bays to discover for free, so I would only recommend you to book a beach club if you really want the good service, if you really want to have a pool. Other than that, I think it's more worth it to jump into a rental car and just discover the coast by yourself, stop by a beautiful base and just enjoy the nature there. If you want to see the beautiful corners of the island, uh, as said before, I would definitely suggest you to get a rental car because otherwise it can be quite difficult to come from one place to another and the island is definitely too beautiful to not discover all the beautiful bays and the coasts. We stayed some nights in Palma and then moved to the southeast of the island and we managed to see the entire south coast up to the north because our sailing day started at the port of Alcudia. This is something I can recommend 100%. Sailing is always worth it because you get the chance to discover the most secluded bays that may be hardly reachable by foot and yeah it's often not the most crowded places so it's really nice and I really enjoyed the sailing day. Regarding the hotels I have to say that we enjoyed Nobis much more than Porto Mar because it was just perfect. I mean the location, the staff, the service, the interior, the food, the pool area, everything was just amazing. I mean, I'm generally a fan of the Nobis Hotel group. They also have some hotels in Scandinavia. I think it's actually a Scandinavian hotel chain. And yeah, as said, it couldn't be any better, so it was hard to beat. 
but actually you also cannot really compare Novis to Porto Mar because it's something completely different. Novis is a hotel located in the city, directly in Palma. Porto Mar is located in a bay, which is beautiful, no question, but it's a totally different concept. Novis is also a hotel and Porto Mar is some kind of apartment. I mean, you had some service there, of course, but it's a little bit different. I mean, at Novis they had by Rado shampoo and hair products in my all-time favorite scent, so it couldn't get any better. I actually tried to Google if you can buy the hair products online, but I did not find them, at least not in my country, which is a pity because the hair products are actually really nice. They made my hair so, so smooth, and of course it smelled like heaven. Then the mini bar was equipped with Miraval Rosé and the best white truffle and rose chips. So what would you want more? When you consider booking Potomar apartments, keep in mind that as the name says, it's more of an apartment vibe. So the rooms were quite big and they had a kitchen and we had a separate living room and bedroom. But of course, there were more families with lots of kids and the food and the service was not that great to be honest, but the location was very nice. The bay where it's located is beautiful, but you don't have a sand beach there. So if you're looking for that, you would have to go to the neighboring bay, which is very close. But you can still take a dip because there is a little ladder into the sea. So it was still very nice and we enjoyed the whole day there. All in all, it was such a nice trip. I enjoyed it so, so much. I'm generally a big fan of the Balearic Islands. Last year, we spent some days in Ibiza, this year in Mallorca. I've already been to Mallorca before, but it's been some years, so I really enjoyed being back. And yeah, our highlights were definitely the sailing trip. That's something I can recommend you 100% as I said before. Then we also enjoyed the day at the Maras Beach Club a lot and we also had a very nice dinner in Palma at a restaurant called Aromata. So this is also something that I can recommend you. They only offer either a six course or an eight course menu. So they are not very flexible in what they serve, but I have to say it was delicious. It was very, very nice. It was it's such a nice location. It's, very romantic, I have a beautiful garden and that's my last tip for Mallorca. I hope you enjoyed watching this kind of vacay vlog. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will also link our Ibiza video from last year here in case you're interested. Don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and I hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!